Hello, people of the internet. Link is ready and raring to go to see you. Anyway, welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Um, I main priority um, tower. That is the main priority, and I'm going to go there first before looking anywhere else. Mainly because I don't know the, the map of the area yet, and having a map would probably be very beneficial um, for the area. Oh. Well, side, side note. Um, let's go here first. Because obviously fairy fountain and that. Right. Um, obviously things are happening... Man, I don't know what's going on. I'm just in a mind of my own right now, and I apologize. But, we keep it going. Okay, fairies. Definitely need those. Definitely need them. Sneak 100. Right, usually three of them spawn around. Maybe four. Okay, four of them have spawned. Usually it's three, and we cannot go fast, because otherwise they will despawn, and we are not having that, are we? How do I get you? Man, you are. Can you lower yourself down a little bit? Please, please lower yourself down. No! Right. I, I mean, if you're not going to lower yourself down, I'm probably just going to have to do the same. Right, I got two out of four. That's not bad. Boy, sweet boy. Man, none of you are going to get that reference. Please into my story. Yes. I am the great fairy Kesa. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travellers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help again. I need rupees to help become whole again. All I need is a hundred a thousand rupees. A thousand rupees Jesus. Right, to be fair, he gave me five hundred. So all I need to do is use five hundred of my own. And and now we're back at where we started, which isn't exactly too bad. Realistically, the power is overflowing. Man, you asked for a thousand rupees and you wonder why your your power has dwindled. Anyway, what, what's going on? Oh. Another fairy. Okay. I wouldn't like to I would not like to live here with you, but yeah, thank god you're kidding. Man, she's trying to drop Riz. Trying to get the Riz on Link. Thank you enough, boy, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance people's clothing, to enhance a piece of to enhance a piece of clothing. Man, I can't speak today. Why don't let me take a peek in that pouch of yours? A pouch. <laughs> um well I can't upgrade anything. We need a Lionel Horn to upgrade that. Um, I need more lizards and more like uh, electric key swings. But thank you anyway. Oh. Take care. Bye. I don't know where the bottom of that is. I don't know if you just sink into the bottom. Yeah, I don't know if you just sink into the bottom or if it just like like stays like that. I don't know. But that's not a question that I need answering. Anyway, um, onwards towards the tower, which was the main goal to begin with. Um, but yeah. Up we go. What are you lot doing? Hey? Hey? Aha. No, I don't think so. Ow, I didn't mean to do that. I'll press A to deflect attack when your shield lands. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Well, that this one's new. Enhanced Lysel Spear. I don't want it anyway. I need that dropped. Um, but that's that's good. I mean, I used Daruk's protection for the first time. But anyhow, anyhow, anywho, I didn't mean to do that. Straight up. Link's climbing upside down again. And don't be doing that. You got a death wish, mate. Yeah, you got a death wish. Right, how do I get rid of all this like nasty stuff? Ooh, there's another camp. Maybe it's not another camp. Maybe it's just the same camp, but just like slightly different. But there's arrows everywhere, so I'll definitely take those. Um, oh no, there's definitely a camp. I don't think he bothered me if I didn't bother him, but I have bothered him. Come on. Aha. You got parried. Oh, wait, that would have done me damage anyway. The Zalfo's tail. What a shame. Oh, Steel Lysel Shield. I might need one of those. Um, I'll just, like, refresh it and just use the, the same one. Um, I'll keep the Tri Boomerang until I find something else. Um, and then I'll just get rid of it, but... Okay. Eyeball there. I don't know if that's going to get rid of anything. If I ping that shrine, I have pinged that shrine. Okay, it gave me a way up. All of this gooey, sticky stuff. Oh, there's another eyeball. Oh, for God's sake. Tabantha Tower. Right, straight... If I go up the pillar, can I see, like, a part of a vantage point? Yes. There we go. Is that going to give me a way up now? Yes, it does. Is that a shrine that I just saw, like, glowing down there? I don't think it was. There's another one over there as well. I need to make sure I get the ping right on that. There we go. Get the ping right on that. There we go, yeah, that's sorted. So there's one all the way back there and one closer. Um... I mean, we just have to... If I go up on top of the tower, I can probably find more of them. Um, so, yeah. My, I also said my knight's bow was badly damaged, so I need to make sure I find more of those. So if I find more in the Divine Beast, I've got to make sure that I pick them up. Because um, it would be nice if I picked them up. Am I freezing? Come on, Link, hurry up. Recharge your stamina faster. You're better than this. You're faster than this. Right, let's open it up. Open up the tower. Shaker tower activated. No one's up here with us for once in a while. For the first time in like ages, no one's up here with us. Anyway, this is like this is we're getting, coming along fast with the map because there's only very few areas that we haven't unlocked. I think it's like two or three after this because we've unlocked the rest. Right. What do we got? Yes, so I definitely found the Rito area. Like, 100% found that. Alright, thank you. I will take that any day of the week. Um, so it looks like that there is a bridge. Okay, no, that's the bridge back to my area. I'm just an idiot. Um, 
So it looks like that this area is literally just a bunch of like birds' nests. I guess that's kind of the idea around the place. Uh, main way in is probably through there, I, I imagine, um, down there. Um, I mean, there's a stable down there as well, so I assume that's probably where I should go as well. Um, that's probably where I imagine um, the way in to be. Yeah, here. Lake Tatori. And this looks like Rito Village here. Lake Tatori. And then there's uh, this shrine, which is like right on the edge there. And there's a shrine in the middle of uh, where they live. Um, and then we start going towards um, like the Hebrew Mountains sort of area, which I already unlocked, which was like this half over here. Um, so, yeah. I think goal now is just to kind of reach that stable. I think that's the goal now. Um, reach that stable because I didn't see um, any other shrines or didn't find any others either. Um, I've only found those two. Um, and I assume there is some sort of praying area at some point. Um, during the air, uh, during the Rito area, if not, if there's not, then it's not like a big issue. I'll just travel somewhere else. Um, but I'm hoping there is, just so it saves me the hassle of doing some other things. Oh, okay. There's a little settlement here. Might see if I can sort that out. I'm trying to look that way for shrines, um, if there are any. Okay, there's no shrines that way. Hold on. Let me see. Can I... Bomb arrow. Ho oh, ho. Get that. Hello. I come in peace. I definitely come in peace. Hot-footed frog. I definitely need those. Can I not actually get on top of your building without... Right. Bomb time it is. Oh, you had apples in there. Right, yeah, that's the shrine that I pinged. There's more sunset fireflies. Um, is there anything else this way? It looks like there'd be something this way, so I want to go have a look first. I was somewhat right. Some sort of big boss. So I don't really want to deal with him right now, because I mean, I'm quite low on gear. Um... Spicy peppers, they are very useful um, for making cold. That, that'll be useful for the future. There's also an eye loom there, um, which will be used at some point. I assume probably uh, that, that um, stable will tell us where to use that. Um, is it one of those where you have to put the hole in it? No. Um, someone will tell us what to do with that one, I think. I think Cass is going to tell us what to do with that when we find him next. So whenever we find him, he'll probably tell us. Can I climb up this? I don't think they have any chests. And they don't have any chests. Man, you guys are useless. What, can't, what are you defending? Are you defending your passion? I guess they're defending their settlement, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I mean, you would you could, you could, would kind of want to defend your settlement if you made it. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Can't lie. I'm trying to find Cass. Because I want to know what to do with that um, little shrine thing. It's not an eye loom, because because uh, I already used those or that that terminology with the uh, thing in Kakariko Village, like that shrine quest, the first ever shrine quest that we did do, and found the edge of duality. Um, but here is the Rito stable. Right, I need to keep an eye. One thing as well, I need to make sure I keep an eye on how much wood that I have. Um, I need to make sure I keep an eye on that because 
Um, yeah, because I need 30 wood to do that side quest in Hatino Village. And I've got 22. Um, so I need to make sure I keep an eye on how much I have. Wild berries. So I need to make sure I keep an eye on how much I have. Oh, here's Cass. Hello, you got another side quest. I'm glad to be meeting One Piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit I'm incredibly homesick. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Promise? Mm. My promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. If I'm able to learn all the ancient songs, I will tell you my promise back in my hometown. But listen to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I have to know a song about the ancient heroes passed down by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Yes! Ooh. Excellent. Without further ado. Mate, what else is there? Oh, it's this. The Kingdom of Hyrule is a vast, storied land... Zero foot grass in the palm of villainous hand. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises once again, Gamma, the calamitous one. I think we've already heard this. Yes, we have. We've already heard this. Yeah, I believe we've already heard this. Yes. Yeah, we have. We've already heard this. We heard this back in the um, the stable for... Uh, it's like outside the Elden Mountains. We heard that already, but there's a there's a book there. Oh hello. I wanna. What have you got, mate? Oh arrows, yes. I need to make sure I get some of those. I'll take them all. Yes. Uh, warm darn. They might be good warm darners. Yes, I'll keep those. And then I'll use the rest. I'll sell some of my stuff. Look what I got. Uh, I probably have some very useful things that you would like. Um, I've got some like sapphires and stuff if you want some of those. Uh, don't have much else though. Unfortunately. Um, I mean I have a topaz. You can take that. I have a couple sapphires as well if you want those. Well, I have two opals, but maybe you want those first. I have a few sapphires. I have a few luminous stones as well. Yes, 210 rupees for a ruby. That's more than okay. I don't need them. I just want money. Give me more money, big man. Take all of them. Yes, 390 rupees. Take them. And just like that, we pretty much have already made back all our money from the Great Fairy Fountain. You see how magical it is? Well, I still have these to do. 420 rupees. Man, we're at 8k rupees. Man, I'm rich. I could buy you anything I wanted. These guys don't have any side quests. Oh, need curry rice. What rice do you need? I can't just get enough spice in my rice. Life. Spicy. I need that Bernie tingle. I need curry rice. Now that I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of gore on spice. Oh, I need to go get some gore and spice. Man, I'll try, but no no, no, um, no promises. Actually, there probably isn't a promise there at all, so I apologise for that. Uh, but anyway, let's go straight into Rito Village. Straight in. Hello. Who are you? Gaysan. Good morning. Hello. Do you need something? Who are you? I am Gassan of the Rito. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Satori, where the men are fine archers and the women are better singers. I thought I said stingers. You being a high I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. I am visiting him. Don't you mind me. I will just keep, keep myself occupied. This is a very pleasant place. It's very pleasant. The, the upkeep of this place is very nice. I like what you're doing with this place, man. I like what you're doing with it. Straight up we go. Oh, man, I probably could have found something there. Um, where's squirrels? Oh, man. What's that beeping noise? Right, uh, I need to equip another bow. Um, that bow. Anything else? Anything else of value here? I already pinged that shrine, didn't I? Yeah, I did. 
I hear noises. I'm hearing very big noises. That's what I'm hearing. Is that Var Meadow? Man, I'm I'm going around everywhere as if I'm expecting like treasure chests to be on the side. Like nothing valuable is going to be on the sides. All I know is that Rito Village is right here. Oh, okay, cutscene time. Oh, those noises are Var Meadow. It's the bird divine beast. It's a propeller. It's a repelling. Ah. Why is it just circling their homeland? As if it... I thought the rest of them were like enemies. Because the other two divine beasts, they didn't like each other. And they didn't like... Uh, they just didn't care about their surroundings. But this guy seems to care about this surrounding, which is kind of intriguing. Um, but here we are. Rito Village. Wow. It's a... What a, what a place. Right, so... Armour shop... General store in. Right. Rusty Halberd. Man, I hate you know what I hate about like the okay. It's not it's not something that I hate. It's a small criticism that I have. In this game, when it, too much like graphical display is on screen, it kind of slows that down because the graphic engine isn't good enough to run the game. So it slows it down and slows the frames down by a couple frames. You can see it there just running past and again there. By walking past when there's too much on frame that's moving at once. Either due to ambient occlusion or like whatever with that like shrine uh, with that like shadows cast in the background. It kind of, it makes a big difference. Um, because it, it kind of slows the game down a little bit. You can see it. It's kind of lagging a little bit. It's not a massive issue, but it's just something small that maybe could be fixed up on. I don't know if it's, like, happens, like, recently. I mean, that's a 2017 game, and it's quite old. But it's something that maybe could have been fixed. And I know it's it's not a small issue. It's not deterring from the game. It's just a small issue that maybe I just want to point out. Uh, but who's this guy? Masley. Hmm, are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not really a good time. Where am I? This is Rito Village, but, well, you could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. Any other questions? What's going on? Ah, oh, Var Meadow. You see that beast in the sky? That is Divine Beast Var Meadow. It showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. They say it used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Yeah, because it used to protect the village, but now it doesn't. Thankfully, the thing only shoots at anything flying up high above the village. But still, it's pretty demoralizing for us Rito to have to fly so low to the ground. Oh, that's how it's a villain, because it will shoot anything that gets close to it, or shoot anything above the village. That's maybe what's, like, kind of annoying them. I think that's what's annoying them right now. I believe the shrine's on top of that. No, it's not. The shrine's gone around the edge. Right, there's nothing there. I can go through. I've kind of just gone all the way around and just ignored everything. Right, the shrine is up there. Again, it's doing the frame skip thing again. It's when there's too much on screen and it just can't render it in all properly without, like, completely crashing the game, so it slows it down. Again, it's not a massive issue, but it's something small that can be very picked up on when it comes to, like, criticizing games. Thanks for this game still got Game of the Year because of how amazing it was. Um, but yeah, it can be like a small problem. Oh, there's a praying statue here. Perfect. Um, I want probably a heart container and then probably one, one stamina vessel as well. So another heart container, another stamina vessel. Because I'll get one from Var Meadow anyway and I already have, what, 12? So that'll be 13. And then I can get one more after Var Meadow. Because you still possess the rule. So give me another stamina vessel, please. Yes. So there we go. I feel like stamina is just way more important than hearts in this game. Just because you can dodge attacks. And there's like things that increase your number of maximum hearts. So I just feel like the stamina vessel is way more. It's like way better. It makes more sense to get a stamina vessel than it does to make uh, more heart containers. But anyway, it is what it is. 
Sigh. Hey, morning. Have you seen it? The Divine Beast Mar Var Meadow? I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it. Uh, because, but I have a bigger problems. My mum is so annoying, but she asked me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. Aww. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Man, you still got to listen to your parents. Listen to them. They might be useful. This is a very, very unique village. I can't lie. It's very unique. It's very nice as well. Ugh. Hey there. Morning. So you staying at Rito Village too? Yes. I see. Nice to meet a fellow admirer. I always feel like the simple nature of this village. Yeah, it is. It's a simple nature, yeah. Mm. I'm starting to reject using it as my honeymoon destination. It's really cold here and there's not much to do, so my wife is complaining non-stop. She won't even talk to me right now. Oh, oh man. If this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. I need to make some baked apples to keep my wife happy. I have any flint to start a fire. Oh. Spark of romance. Hello, boys. Oh, you're a traveller. We were just chatting about that monster in the sky, you know, Divine Beast Var Meadow. Turns out a long, a long time ago, that thing was on our side. Oh. Right, a long time ago. The champion of Rito Village, Rivali. Okay, so Rivali is the bird guy's name. Tame that beast and use it to protect the village. According to the Elder, at least, and I believe him. Oh. It is true. Why did it start attacking us now? Because of Ganon. Hello. General store. Cane sugar, goat butter. Bomb arrows. Okay. It might be useful, but they're very expensive. Ah. How many? Five. That could be a thousand rupees. I could get 25 bomb arrows. Um, I'll get three. <laughs> and normal arrows. They're good. I need all of those. I'll take all of those. Yes, that's fine. I'll take the 15 arrows. That's good. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, that was very useful. Thank you for that, my friends. Okay, so Rivali is the guy's name. So we're probably going to get a memory from Rivali. Okay, oh, cold resistance. To maintain body heat. Okay, these these are like better than the warm duble then. So 550, so 1150. And then how much is this? A thousand. Okay, we'll do it. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. 600. So it's... Man, I'll get the money back. What can I do for you? I'm not really looking to sell, but I just want to... Yes. So they do good at maintaining body heat. So that's that's quite good. I like those. They're like snow quills and they're good for uh, reducing body heat. I mean, we already have something for that. The warm double, but it's not that great. It really isn't that great, um, but I'd rather have the whole gear because then that helps me. That means so this means this is now really important because now that means that I can sustainably go um, to uh, the Hebrew Mountains and like sustainably stay up there. Um, so that's that's quite useful. I like that. I can't really sell anything though, if that's what you wanted. Um, but every single time we come to a new village, there's going to be new sets of armor, which is useful. But there's also a book here that I didn't read. Recipe book. Oh, okay, they're recipe books. Okay. That might be useful to read at some point in the future. Um, man, there's so many things that I might have to go back. So many of you guys are telling me to go back and do a load of things. I might just set up um, sooner or later. I might just go back and just do a whole load of these things that you've told me to do. Just because there's so much stuff that I do have to do. I might just do a whole video just on that, like, traveling back. A soup ladle. A pot ladle. Man, these are all... Hello. Who are you? Some kind of traveler? Did you come to make that big bird up in the sky stop bothering us? Sure did. No. If anything goes back to normal, Kill will make me go back to singing practice. I mean, I feel bad that Molly's dad, Mr. Half, got hurt, but I definitely know I don't want to practice singing. Man, I'm trying to do it for the greater good. One person does not match the greater good of the whole person of the whole world. I don't know what I'm s I am do not know what I was saying. I mean, you know what I mean. Surely you know what I mean. I just can't remember the exact quote. What's wrong? That divine beast Varmed in the sky is the worst. Molly's dad got hurt and Chilin's dad disappeared. Mom, Mom and Big Sis and my little sis are all sad. And I, I can't do anything to help. When I mean, you're too young, one day, one day you'll be able to. Don't worry. One day it's possible. This place is lovely. It's very simple and so, like, minimalistic. A birdie, want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. Ahem. Oh, he stood up for this one. He stood up. Oh, she stood up. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped stopped a big tree while he was climbing a mountain and locked below him to the northwest. When suddenly, he saw a huge snow white birdie with its 
wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the Snow White birdie. As soon as he got close, a little closer to the White birdie, Grandpa saw something super important inside his belly. The birdie had swallowed. Well, what was it? Let's get sleepy around that part of the story so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is, though. Oh, it's in Hebrew Mountains, isn't it? You see, it's over there. Grandpa said the Snow White birdie from that tree. Oh. And what did you do with the Snow White birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Sniff. Okay, it's a shrine quest. Okay, that's important. Because it's somewhere up in um, the mountain. It's all the way up there. It's all the way up there. Yeah, it's somewhere up in Hebrew Mountains. So we might go do that at some point. Maybe after the Divine Beast, we might go and do that. Uh, but yeah, there's a shrine over there. It's definitely possible to go do. Again, after the Divine Beast. Um, but yeah, there's definitely there's a shrine here. So best thing to do is get this shrine so we can go do this fast travel point first. Akvakart Shrine. So let's go do this first before something weird happens. Let's go make sure we do it. <laughs> let's do this first. I might have to go do the other one because then it'll be three spirit orbs. I only need one more to get the upgrade, so it might be worth doing it, but I'll have to see for now. But we'll do this one for now and see what happens. Oh man, I hear some gears spinning. Windmills. Oh man, this is going to be really annoying, isn't it? Do I have to go up and behind this thing? Right, let's go hit this thing with an arrow. Right, there we go. Get that spinning. Open the door. There we go. Because obviously Link is a fabulous archer. And what's this? Ancient... That is incredibly useful. How many of those do we have now? Six. We need three more. We only need three more. That's perfect. Right. Only problem now is that I need to find a way to... I don't know what I need to get sorted. Uh, I think I need a way to activate all of them, I think. So where are we starting? Right, so if I turn that that way. So if I maybe do it like this. Yeah, but then that needs turning this way. And that needs turning this way. But then those stop. But then if I turn that one over here, it should then. Oh, I should be able to turn it all the way. That's all of them turning, isn't it? Yes. There we go. That was literally just a case of trial and error. And I managed to get it sorted. So that's all that was. But it's quite useful anyway. Um... I want to go double check something actually before um, I continue on because I want to make sure that I didn't miss any chests because there's only one. Sometimes there are one, but there might there's usually is two in every shrine. And I want to make sure that I haven't missed any of them. Because um, obviously there was the ones that were behind here, but there's none in front. Um, so I want to make sure that I haven't missed any, which I might have done actually. Hopefully I haven't. But I might have done. Oh man, you sneaky bagger. Right, there is something useful here. There's another chest in there.
Okay, I think what I need to do... There's another... There might be another couple chest, actually. I'm not sure, though. I need to aim properly for it. There we go. Come on, man. That was so close. Come on, give me my arrows back. There we go. Man, I knew there was another chest somewhere in here. Usually there is more than one. There we go. Open this up. Sapphire. That's useful. Okay, there's another two. Not quite sure how I get that one, but... There's not enough distance between me and there. Now, there's not enough, like, running distance there. I can't really climb up that either. Is there a way to like turn it so it like spins the other way? Yeah, I know it spins that, but can it spin the other way? It needs to spin the other way. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Hmm. Can I, um, stasis it? Wait, that might be useful. Yes, I know. Man, why has it changed my angle? Maybe it's not that useful after all. Hmm. Oh wait, I can stun this thing. Man, because there's something that I meant to do with it, but I'm not quite sure how. When I, I want to double check. Man, I keep forgetting about all these different things that are in that are in like the 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 stuff that I have. Man, I have cryonics. Every time I keep forgetting that I have this thing. I can just use cryonics to get to it. I didn't even have to glide over. I could just cry honest into them. I didn't even realize. It's a feathered spear, but, like, I, I, I'm not going to use it. But, like, I didn't realize that I could just... I'm so stupid, man. How did I not think to do that? Anyway, I'm glad that I did that now, because now, now that I have everything, that sapphire is quite useful, because it's going to give me some of my money back that I used on all of that cold resistance gear. I'm not complaining, because it was useful, but definitely could have... Um, done a different way. But it is what it is. And I don't mind, so... Anyway. Uh, Spirit Orb number two, I think. Yeah, number two now. Um, so, yeah. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you, my brother. Alright, back out at Rito Village. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the shrine that's, like, somewhere over in the distance, like, over somewhere else. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Yeah, this one. I have no idea what I'm going to do about that one. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to do it or not. Um, I ain't got a clue. Um, yeah, I ain't got a clue. I might go do it um, when I go do the shrine quest. That might be like a good idea, but we'll just see for now. Hello. Keel, why must you always insist on worry about your poor mother? What's the matter? 
My youngest daughter, Kiel, wants to go to Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters ever since that beast appeared. They've been getting needier by the minute. Mm. At times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could be a kid again and think only of myself. But that is the thing about being a parent. You have to be bigger than your children. Damn. They say it's too dangerous to go outside of the village right now. But all I want to do is go sing my, with my sisters at, the, at Warbler's Nest. That divine beast Var Meadow is a big jerk. Here, watch your language. But, but... He's, he's not. Wait, are they... Warbler's Nest? I have no idea where it is. It might be that thing over there. Yeah, there's an eye loom over there. Something to go do, anyway. Something to do in the future episodes, anyway. Um, but, yeah. Hello. Phew. Hello. What are you doing here? Your adventure... Your adventurers are, you adventurers are crazy. What? What do you mean, what? You see Divine Beast Var Meadow flying around up there? That village is in disarray thanks to that thing. If I were a properly trained soldier, I'd go straight at the beast and bring it down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Except I'm going to put it back on our side. Ow. Oh, welcome. Ow. What's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Ah, oh, we got injured by the monster. A swallow bow. <gasps> hey, I'm sorry. Heh, <laughs> take it. Not like I can use it in my condition. Man, hey, you know what? I'll give it back. I'll give it back. Sorry, man. Sorry. I apologize. What else, what else are you guys doing down here? So you even have Var Meadow, like, kind of signs. You should be thankful to him. Hello, say traveler. I'd, I take it you've seen Divine Beast Var Meadow. Everyone is at a loss to what to do. Yeah, every single one of you is talking about it. I can't help but sigh every time I look skywards. When will we be able to go back to living a relaxed life here? Oh, it's just constraining them from doing whatever they want. Da -da -dum, la -da -dee. Ever since Divine Beast Var Meadow showed up, my singing voice just hasn't been the same. Oh, this is all that family. All that same family is just there. They just got the same problem. That's a shame. Man, I still don't know what to do about some of these areas. I want to go do them like before the video ends, if I have enough time. I really do. Um, what's in here? Hello. Can I help you? What's wrong? Never mind, forget it. What do you mean? Well, I'm only trying to help you out. Oh, he's the elder. Good day. Well, I just realized you're a Hylian. You just wandering about Hyrule trying to find yourself? Yes. I'm here on my honeymoon, but this town is a seriously a hole. In Drudo Town, they've got jewelry to buy. Zoro's domain is always a hoot with with all the weird spiritual fish people. But here, I just want to go home already. Oh, really? Give me a break already. I can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he better bring me a bake, baked apple. Oh. Okay, that's the second part to that quest. And here is the elder. I'm scared of the bird monster. I hope it doesn't eat me. Are you scared of the village? Did, you, did the village elder tell you about it? Are you scared of it too? Not scared at all. Oh, really? Are you a champion or something? I am. I'm the Hylian champion. You see, you see this sword that I'm about to put on my back? You see this sword? This shows me that I am the Hylian champion. Hello. Kennelly. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to... Oh. Oh. The object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me. Where are my manners? I'm Kennelly, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a shaker slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravali. One of the few able to board Divine Beast Var Meadow. Yes, I am. I can board Var Meadow. And I will help you find Ravali. Well, Ravali's dead. Ravali's a spirit in Var Meadow at the minute, but... No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, inheritor of a shaker slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now now that I know that you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How should I put this? 
I'd like you to deal with Divine Beast Varmeadow, the giant beast circling above us. That I love how he just drops that on us. <laughs> He's literally just like, I have a request for you if you don't mind. Yeah, can you like deal with the Divine Beast, like the massive Divine Beast like above us? I was like, yeah, like, yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the... the the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Ooh. Tiber and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Hearth was injured. Turbo escaped unscathed, unscathed. But I feared he had now has now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Var Meadow. And here we go, main quest, Divine Beast Var Meadow. So we have to go find him. Ho, ho, ho. If you mean to help us, then allow me to fill you in on particulars. Who's Teba? Teba's a warrior of Rito Village. He lives right next door to my humble abode. He is the one who decided to confront Var, Var Meadow. He set off alongside another villager named Hearth. Unfortunately, Hearth was shot down by Meadow and had to retreat. The only defeat... Uh, this defeat only made Teba more determined. I fear he is set up to face Meadow by himself. As you can see, Meadow is still flying about up there. I hope Teba is okay. Teba's wife, Saki, may be able to tell you about more about his whereabouts. Is there something else you wish to know? Who's Master Rivali? Master Rivali was a fierce warrior from from Rito Village who did, died a hundred years ago. Yeah, he's the bird, um, the Var Meadow champion, one of the champions, because obviously we have Mifa, um, Daruk, and now Rivali. Um, there we go. According to the stories, he flew like the wind itself and wielded a bow twice his own size with ease. His skill was recognized by King Rome, and he was entrusted to control Divine Beast Var Meadow. Oh yeah, King Rome. Yeah, he's a uh, I think that's what I mean. This is the person. King Rome. Is he um, Zelda's father? I don't know that. But I don't know if he's Zelda's father. He might be, but I'm not sure. Because obviously he was the one that picked out all the champions for the Divine Beasts. Because it was obviously the four people that were entrusted to pilot them um, across like, all the generations. Um, and then he was obviously... Rivali was probably trusted with this one. Mm. Master Rivali lost his wife while piloting the Divine Beast during the Great Battle with Calamity Ganon. What could have happened inside... Var Meadow 100 years ago to kill such, such a celebrated warrior. Let me guess. The scourge of Divine Beast Var Meadow. Let me guess. I'm going to guess Air Blight Ganon or Wind Blight Ganon. They're my two guesses. Meadow. Do you perchance see that giant bird up there soaring high above our village? That Divine Beast Var Meadow. The Divine Beast, our misbegotten inheritance from the ancient Shaker, created eons ago to defeat Ganon. In an ironic turn of events, the divine beast beasts were taken over by the same evil force they were created to defeat. But that was a hundred years years ago. To think the divine beast would suddenly reappear and begin attacking innocent people. Could this foretell the return of Ganon? Okay, so now we have to go find Teba, which I assume is um, in here. Yes. Ah, oh, Saki. Forget my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband Teba in the fight against Meadow. But to tell you the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling where my husband went. Where did he go? Well, my husband's had to go to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dron Dronox Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the Flight Range on foot at this time. We take off from Rivali's landing. It's a straight shot down to the flight range. Oh, that's Rivali's landing. It's a mem memorial. Rivali's landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, here's the memory of Rivali. Yeah, because now we're remembering Rivali now because we don't rem we didn't remember him and now this is the part where we remember him. Yeah, because obviously all of the champions, they got killed um, inside the Divine Beast by all the Scourges. They all got killed. All four of them got killed by the Scourge. There we go. My, this is the one Divine Beast that looks so much cooler in blue. Like, Varuta and Meadow look cooler in blue. Like, Varudania look cooler in red. But here he is. Oh, bloody hell. There he is. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Damn, his bow is huge. The art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. 
With proper utilization of my skills, I hope we get his bow. See no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not pardon me for being so blunt. Let's not forget He's kind of arrogant. The most skilled archer of all the He's pretty arrogant. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. He's very arrogant. Like, extremely oh, arrogant. Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. I don't like him. Good luck sealing the darkness. Yeah, he, he's pretty arrogant. I don't like him. He's really arrogant. So, he's got such a cool name, Rivali, but he's so arrogant. Descendant, Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. Is there anything you do not understand? Please do not hesitate to ask. Yeah, I mean, he's really arrogant. And I don't know if I like him for that. Oh man, I wanted to examine this, Rivali's landing. Yeah, because obviously this is where he landed, because obviously the Divine Beast, like, always saw was, like, just up there. I assume this is where we're going to take off to go inside him. Um, but we have to go up here to the landing. Oh, here it is. This is the, the flight practice. So, if that's the case, I might as well go and, um, like, go and do that up there. That might be for next episode, though. I might go do that next episode. Go and see what happens like with that shrine. Go and explore a little bit there. I think I might end it here. It might be a little bit shorter. Um, but obviously we made it to Rito Village. It feels like... It just feels like an appropriate place to stop. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just... It's really appropriate just to stop here. So I feel like there's no reason why we should carry on. We ended it on the memory. Next episode we can go after that shrine. And then go after that shrine quest. That's up there. And then maybe make our way over to the dude over there and then probably end the episode after that one and then hopefully after that we fight Var Meadow afterwards so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one take care guys